Sayang, sayang. Take a look at my brand new Nissan Serena E Power. And this is the Highway Star Prestige 7 seater variant. All right. From the first glance, you will be greeted by their signature V-Motion grille, which is Nissan's signature language. Okay, and they call this the timeless Japanese futurism. All right, moving on, what's so special about this variant is that they included a body kit, which in fact runs throughout the car all the way to the back. And over here, you can see a very subtle Serena branding. Okay, to tell you that, hey, I'm Serena and take a look at the wheels okay they have a 16 inch alloy next will be these special doors why i say special is because you can use both your hands or your legs to open the door so if you are going to a supermarket with a lot of groceries or you're carrying a child no worries okay all you have to do is just wash my leg okay swipe underneath the car you hear a beep the car door will open okay and once you're done, you can just swipe it once again and the door will close after the P. But then again, if you are used to using your hands, no worries. Just push it out, release, you'll hear the peep and it will open again. And something special that you might not know is that when the door closes, okay, it will have a suction to suck the door in. So it will indicate that it's securely locked. Moving on, let's go to the back, which showcases the dual tailgate. So why I say dual, let's say you have, if you have a car parked very near you, you can't open. Ow, no worries, okay? You can just open through here and you can assess, isn't it so useful? I love this feature. Take a look at this space. Is it enough for a luggage? Let's take the luggage. Now, you might think that this is not enough for your luggage. No worries. Okay, you can move the seats around. Okay, let me show you. Come closer. All right, so to lift these seats up, just pull all the way. You see that the thing releases. Okay, and then there's a clip over here. All you have to do is just to hook it right here. Okay, so that it's secure and it won't drop down. Okay, similarly for this side, pull all the way, the latch releases, and now don't forget to close this flap. And let's see how many more luggage can we put. Ah, just take a look. We can easily fit another luggage here, plus another standing luggage here. So, three big luggages for your family tour or road trip let me show you how to bring this seat down unhook the latch open up the flap push the seat down until it clicks and then pull the seat back up okay move whichever way you want and don't forget to tuck the latch back in nicely tuck in beautiful and now you are ready to close the door now let's take a look at the interior of the car firstly i would like to talk about the second row seats first glance in front of me okay you will see that i have lots of leg room Okay, if it isn't enough, I can still move the seat back and front. And one thing I like about this car is that you have a tray in front of you. Alright, so I mean, if you're going for a road trip, you have food, you have drinks, this is perfect. Okay, and one more thing, I like to sit like a boss. So this armrest is... Perfect. You have both left and right armrests. So you must be wondering, how does an adult like my size get into the back of the car? Let's try. Okay, so you can see that, you know, in the middle, there's some space to enter. 
Let's see if I can enter. Actually, also quite doable. Okay, but if you think that you are bigger size than me, no worries, let me show you. So what you have to do is just to pull this latch in, okay, and bring the seat forward. And now you have a very big area to enter the car. Wow. Eh, by the way, it's quite comfortable here. And that's aircon too. Ooh. So I'm now in the car with my friend Wee. Okay, who is very tall. What is your height? My height is 185cm. Ah. So in fact, both of us are sitting very comfortably right at the third row seats. Okay, um, that's very sufficient leg room for me. How about you? Most of the cars that I see inside is very cramped, mm. especially the back seat. Then my kneecaps will always be already touching the back of the seat. And it feels very, I can't move, I only can maintain an upright position. But uh -huh. for this, for this model, I think I feel very spacious and comfortable. Reason yeah. being that I, I have more than enough uh, space yep. on the seats. My kneecaps are not touching the back of the seat as well. And How about your height? The height wise, I feel comfortable because most of the time, my my head already touching the the top of the, yeah. the car. But now, I, I Still don't... Still got a I, bit of leeway though. Yeah, I mean, I mean if you press yeah. down my head... And do note, <laughs> this is on the way. third row seats. Yes, okay? exactly. Mm. So let's move on to the second row seats and see if there's any difference. Now look at your head. Mm, seems like you've got a lot more space. Oh yes. <laughs> Now it's a lot more spacious. Even the leg space between the front seat is a lot more now. Yeah. I feel a lot comfortable and comes with a hand and armrest. Yes, and even at this uh, setting, right, the third row passenger will still have enough leg room. So, wow, this car is very spacious. Perfect yes. for a JB road trip. I think for tall individuals, I yeah. can really consider this because it's very comfortable. Yes. Even for people like us. Yeah. So if you're very tall, remember what we say, this car is suitable for you. It makes me consider buying as well. <laughs> mm. 200k, please. Thank you. <laughs> I love the sitting position of this car. Um, my leg doesn't feel any ache when I enter the car, so it's perfect uh, height for me. Okay. Next, we will start the car. So to start the car, there's this start and stop button right here. Ah, enjoy the tunes for the car startup. Let's move on to the screen. Okay, I love this screen right in front of me because it is like so nicely blended together. Two screens in one. Okay, it's very colorful, very vibrant, and you can see all the details that you need. And all these are in fact electronic. And what you see over here is Apple CarPlay, and of course, it also supports uh, Android. It's very smooth, no lagging at all. One feature I love about this car is this volume knob. Alright. So you can easily adjust this knob while you're driving without having to worry, eh? Am I in late or not? Very good feature. And of course, to increase the aircon, okay, you have this sensor right here that you can know that you are in fact pressing the aircon button. And what you see here, this is in fact the gear. So we are now in parking mode. If you want to reverse, the camera turns on. If you go to drive mode, okay, it goes back to your Apple Play. And if you are wondering, what is this special thing over here? Ah, you can have a 360 view of your car plus the back view of the car. Just take a look, I'm adjusting the car view and I can see right at the corner with this beautiful camera. Wow. Moving down, you have a wireless charger for your phones and when it charge, this orange button lights up. And I must commend them that they supply both the traditional USB and the latest Type-C USB. Very thoughtful, in fact. What is this? 
uh, even more storage for you to put your phone if you have multiple phones you can even put it here it won't slide so it's anti-sleep okay i'm using a lot of force so that you know it moves okay but otherwise i would say that this is a very utility packed car just from all the storage space that you have You even have cup holders right for your passengers and even for the driver itself over here and you might be wondering what does this flap do okay if your cup is too small okay this will help to lock your cup so that it doesn't move around oh one more hidden feature right here can you see okay this is the handbrake for you to turn on and off and this is the auto hole. What does auto hole means? It simply means that when you brake, you don't have to hold on to the brake at traffic light. It will automatically brake for you. I want to bring you to this feature, this rear wheel camera. So at first glance, it looks like just a typical normal rear wheel camera, right? Now, when I turn this on, it becomes a digital camera. So I mean, this feature is very good if you have a lot of adults sitting behind and they are very tall you can't see the rear of your car this is the solution for you and i sit in the driver's seat um, i like the height itself okay because uh, when you get in and out of the car you don't really you know sometimes you when you enter a normal sedan car you need to struggle a bit to get down to the seat or even get up from the seat but for this car of this height, I would say it's just nice. And then when you sit right here in front, um, the mirror is really huge. It's very roomy, spacious. You got to mention that I like the suspension of this car as well. I don't know, but I personally prefer cars that are comfortable, soft suspension. But then again, um, you know, a lot of people argue that, eh, a harder suspension is better like the soft suspension. In terms of suspension, I, I feel that it's almost like a Toyota Alpha. Uh, when you go over hum, it doesn't give you that hard knock, you know. It just, uh, you know, soften out smoothly. Yeah, and that's something I appreciate. Oh yeah, I just uh, move out of lane without signaling. So yeah, this is the lane departure warning and signal. So there are three drive modes in this car, uh, the Eco, Standard and Sports. I personally prefer driving in the standard and sports boat because I would say that it feels more responsive. Okay, for eco mode, um, you will have to step a little harder um, before the car really start to respond. To then for standard, uh, I mean, when you step a little bit, it, it really start to react. And there's no need to mention sports, okay? It's really just instantaneous power given to you. You know, two ways you can drive this car. One is through the normal way where you just, you know, drive as per a normal car. Uh, the other way is using Nissan's one pedal drive. Uh, they call it the E pedal. So basically, when you release the pedal, okay, the car will brake by itself to a complete stop. You don't need to step on the brake uh, in that sense. Okay, um, so this is how an EV would drive, you know, when you drive an EV. And for Nissan e-Power, it also gives you that same experience if you would like. Okay, but of course, if you are not used to the one pedal drive, you can always switch to a, you know, conventional driving system. For the driving experience of this car. Okay, so I had a few hours with this car and I'm really loving the drive of this car okay the whole driving experience is very smooth uh, it has adequate power you know to move your family why i would say this is because i've driven before and an, uh, toyota noah and a toyota alpha uh, in terms of size i would definitely prefer the size of you know uh, nissan serena or toyota noah Okay, um, simply because it's easier to park. Um, I mean, it, it makes more sense. Lah. But in terms of everyday drive, I would say that uh, Nissan Serena does a really good job. I would use the word 
refinement. Okay, comparing Nissan Serena and Toyota Nova, um, the previous generation. I'm not sure whether the new Toyota Nova has any differences in the engine, but um, my experience driving the Toyota Nova in the past was that the engine was very sluggish. It doesn't have enough power to, you know, move the car in that sense. So we will then make a lot of noise. Um, the engine will then start up and move the whole car together with the battery. So it is not really a quiet drive, I would say. But this Nissan Serena, I would say that it's really a very quiet drive because I would say 90% of the time I don't hear the, you know, um, generator or engine noise. Okay, unless it doesn't have enough, enough battery, then it would start making noise but other than that you know the whole drive is really smooth it's really like you are driving an EV you know uh, and if you didn't know um, Nissan's new e-power series uh, basically means that uh, you are really experiencing driving an EV it really gives me the feel that I'm driving an EV but without that range anxiety yeah I will, I will admit that when I drive an EV I would you know always look at that uh, number of kilometers left for the car uh, especially when you are running low on you know a battery then you will start to have that gun jungness, you know okay but uh, driving a Nissan e-power car I won't have that you know because I know that I can easily go to any petrol station to just top up the fuel and I'm good to go. I probably just need to spend, you know, five minutes uh, to refuel the car and I'm good to go. When Nissan says e-power, some of you might be asking, isn't it a hybrid? And why do you need to pump petrol to a motor to generate uh electric power to the wheels isn't it a stupid move um, but after driving this second generation Nissan Serena uh, e-power uh, for the Singapore market okay, I would say that the new e-power is very much refined as compared to the previous generation uh, it is very smooth and I think Nissan really wants you to feel like you are driving an EV. Um, I would say that they sort of achieve it. I, I like the fact that you won't have any range anxiety as compared to an EV car. Um, because, I mean, to, to move this car, you just got to go to the petrol station. Um, you know, as per usual, pump petrol. Um, but in this case, you are pumping petrol to the generator so that it generates uh, electricity to power the wheels itself okay so um in a way this 1.4 liter engine is not moving the car itself it's using the electric motor to move the car so even though it's a 1.4 you don't feel that eh this car doesn't have enough power in fact it's you know quite responsive when i floor the accelerator it really moves so yeah um, I mean, this e-power thingy really gives you uh, a smoother driving experience compared to a, you know, usual hybrid where you can still hear quite a bit of that engine noise, you know, when it, it's running. What I like about hybrid or e-power in that sense is that you won't have that range anxiety, you know, because, um, you just do what you are used to, you know, just go to a petrol station, um, pump and move off. And that will probably set you back about 5 minutes as compared to a electric car where you minimally have to wait at least 30 minutes um, if you want to get a full charge on the, uh, probably the latest EV car model that you have. So for such cars such as hybrid or e-power, you know, you don't have really have to worry about uh, the range itself. And talking about range, uh, this car on the full tank can run about a thousand kilometers. 
Okay, even though the display only states 500 km, but uh, in fact, it can really run 1000 km. But uh, we won't be able to test that because we only have a few hours with this car today. Nissan is most well known for their Nissan Sunny and also the Nissan Sapphire back many years ago. Uh, and then the last one was probably Nissan Selfie and then we sort of see Nissan market quietly uh, going down but now with Nissan's new e-power series coming up and you know having driven this Nissan Serena e-power I will say I will confidently say that you know the market for Nissan is you know coming back uh, more people will be interested in Nissan cars, you know, all thanks to this uh, e-power platform. If you ask me, will I buy this car? Okay, if I have a family with two kids, um, I would confidently say that uh, I will get this car. Okay, because uh, it has all the space that I need. You know, the functions are really good. You, you, you have the you know, hands-free door opening experience uh, for the driver you get a very smooth and responsive drive you know, it, it has all the tech features that you need like Apple CarPlay so yeah, I mean everything is really modern in this car you just feel very comfortable driving this car. If you are watching this video, you probably might want to change to a, you know, car like Nissan Serena market. There are probably only three competitors. Nissan Serena, um, Toyota Nova, or Suzuki Landy, which is uh, just a rebatch Toyota Nova, and also the Honda Spada. Yeah. But personally, I'm really loving the drive experience of this Nissan Serena e-Power. Yeah, so if you are looking to get a car of this segment, no, do, do go and visit Nissan and test it out for yourself. Um, I always say that if you want to buy a car, you know, make sure you test the car for yourself. Uh, make sure that you like the whole driving experience of the car. I mean, in terms of practicality, this car really has that. Um, you have lots of luggage space. You have lots of seating space. Uh, yeah. So the next thing is really counting down to the driving experience. I would say this is really a winner.